Hello everyone, I am Nitij and in today's video, we are going to see how to configure absolute path imports and module path aliases in a React application. This will help us avoid the clutter of relative paths and make our code cleaner and more maintainable. So this is Visual Studio Code and I have already created a React application using the create react app command. Now over here you can see we have a component and we have a service which is exporting a function as a default export. Now when I will open up app.js file then we can see that these two items are being imported using their relative paths. So right now these paths are simple and not so long but it could happen that in any decent project the folder hierarchy can have multiple child folders for our components, services, hooks, etc. And these relative paths can easily go out of control. Now to maintain them, there is a very simple way and that is to use absolute paths in our React application. In our React application, if it is created using the create react app command, then we have to create a new file in the root folder, either by the name of jsconfig.json or tsconfig.json in the case of TypeScript. So I'm going to create jsconfig.json and inside this file, let me just zoom in. I am going to add an object with a property with the name compiler options. Now this is going to be another object. The first property is going to be the base URL, which is going to point towards our SRC folder. The next property is going to our specific path aliases. So for example, if we want to use absolute paths for components and services folders, which are these ones, components and services, then what we can do is we can add first an object for the paths property. And for each of these folders, we have to create another property. So for components, we can write at the rate components forward slash asterisk and then for its value we can add an array so this array is going to have a string value as its item which is going to be again this one components forward slash and then asterisk now i can add another such item for the services folder so services and let's just add services over here as well in the array now finally we have to add another property after compiler options which is going to be called as include and this is going to be an array with the name src for the src folder now let's save this file and inside the app.js file let's test our new import mechanism so i'm going to remove these two import statements and let's first try to import our my component this time you can see that the path from which this component is being imported is not a relative path it's an absolute path which we have configured in our jsconfig.json file which is at the rate components and then the name of the folder my component now similarly we can import our services so import hello world from at the rate services forward slash my service which is the name of the file now this feature comes enabled with some boilerplates such as next.js but with create react app where this is not enabled or available by default then we can do this by simply adding a new jsconfig.json file and by configuring our specific path aliases now if you are not using create react app to create your react application boilerplate then what you can do is you can modify your webpack.config.js file so if you already have this file in your project, then you can modify it. Otherwise, you can create a new file with the name webpack.config.json. So in your webpack.config.json, if you already have configuration like this one, then you will have to add a resolve property and its object like this one over here. And then you will have to add a specific path aliases by adding another alias property and then pointing towards the folder which you want to use as absolute path but because this boilerplate is created using create react app you don't really need this file and also i have made a typo over here in the file name but that doesn't really matter because we are not going to use this file so i'm just going to delete this one this setup will save you a lot of headaches as your project grows and you deal with deeper directory structures 
If you found this video helpful, then please consider subscribing to this channel. It supports and motivates me to create more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.